Cyber attacks in the form of viruses, malicious code, DDoS, worms, or phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and focused on highly specific targets. In the parking lot of the manufacturing company where he works, Mark found a USB drive. John runs a major international online store which operates 24-7. Linda works in a consulting company where customer and project data is a carefully guarded trade secret. She receives a ton of email every day. Mark wants to know what's on the USB drive. At first it seems that the USB drive is broken. However, at this moment, Mark is not yet aware that he was just a victim of a cryptovirus attack that has already encrypted files on the company servers. A message pops up on his screen informing him of what it would take for the company to regain access to its files. Computer-aided production is partially stopped and the business damage will be enormous. The online store was just in the process of receiving a major order when John finds out that the store is no longer accessible from the internet. The server administrator discovers that they are the victim of a DDoS attack. The online store may be partially or fully crippled for several days and they will lose the trust of their customers. The competition is relentless. Linda opens an attachment in an email she just received and enables the macro, thereby unsuspectingly also executing malicious code. Nothing happens, so she tries and tries again. Later, the administrator discovers that she granted remote access to sensitive business documents and data in the company's network to strangers. If this data gets public, the company will lose its reputation and can also expect claims for compensation. What if these companies had the appropriate cybersecurity from Telecom Slovenia? With the right cybersecurity, software would have detected the virus immediately when Mark inserted the USB key into his computer, alerting him to the issue. At the same time, an analyst in the Operational Center for Cybersecurity would receive an alarm and immediately start an analysis and launch the required measures. Production would continue without interruption and there would be no business damage. In John's case, the Operational Center for Cybersecurity would immediately detect that this is a DDoS attack, informing the website's administrator. The online store would continue operating normally all the while. Advanced security mechanisms automatically clear the traffic. When Linda would open her attachment, she would receive a warning that the document is infected with malicious code. Operational Center for Cybersecurity would receive the notification of a blocked execution of malicious code. The file would be blocked across the network and the computer would be sent for a detailed analysis. Intrusion attempt would have been blocked and the sensitive data would have remained secure. Such an experience would have once again convinced the management that the investment into providing security is worth every penny. A moment's carelessness by just one employee can have irreparable consequences for the whole company. With Telecom Slovenia's Operational Center for Cyber Security, which holds the ISO 27001 International Information Security Standard, you will raise your level of cybersecurity and lower your operative risks.